Okay, first steps into the Moss Deep City Gym. Preston and Mora. One's got the pink energy, one's got the green energy. That's the color of their lightsabers. It's a Soul Rock and Lunatone. First time we're using Starmie, pretty hype. There's the Surf. Yep, you know me, Cream. <laughs> I make the misplays. I think this will be Calm Mind. Clay all comes out. Yeah, that's fine. I think the Lunatone will Moonlight this turn now. Okay, Calxaben on target. Giraffe Rig comes in. There's the Moonlight. So I think the it's gonna be kind of trapped doing this Moonlight thing. Does, um, if there's only one Pokemon on their side of the field, in this generation, does it become a single target move? Or is that not till later gens? Girafferig is another good Pokemon that would get a form. Yeah, yeah. I've always thought of that as a Pokemon that had like some secrets to it, you know, like it's always cool when the when the like sub form becomes like the dominant one. Like another one that would be that good for that is like Wobbuffet, the tail, right? A lot of people think the tail is the one that's alive, and the Wobbuffet is like a dummy. Oh, we got a crit, so we will attack the back Pokemon. Nice. Cast form has not made the appearance yet, no. So the crunch will come out here. We'll see how much it does. Big damage. Okay, so I'll go for Ice Beam and Crunch. Here's the Chimeco. And as long as I switch here, it can't even do damage anymore. So it's over. This is the first time we're using Mischievous. Um, we just debuted Starmie. We're debuting Mischievous now. Unfortunately, our Mischievous is really slow, but it actually works in our favor for this one battle. I chose it specifically because it's slower than Zangoose, but it's faster than Jinx. If that, oh, that would be really bad. If that's the case, then I have to switch. Is this fake out Jinx? Yeah. Well, that already puts me in a precarious position. I wonder, like how smart is the computer? How smart is this thing? Like, cause if the Jinx, let's say the Jinx fake outs. Could the Clefable also follow me for, like, no reason? Because that would be, like, a dumb play, right? You don't fake out and then follow me. That would be amazing for us, actually. Okay, that was a, that was a fine outcome. Because we just take some damage, but now we're back to the turn that we wanted to have, right? So Zangoose is going to destroy the Clefable. And then, and then we'll get the kill on the Jinx because it'll be off the field. And we can target the Pokemon we want to target. Yep. Yeah, like we were saying, fake out, follow me isn't doing you any good. If you're not getting a kill. There's some VGC knowledge for you. Okay. Wait, no, that's not how it's supposed to work. I looked this up, I swear to God, I looked this up. Here, 
If the center of attention faints or switches out, it no longer draws the move. Well, it didn't fake out, so now I'm really nervous. <laughs> I hope it's just Rock Tomb. I mean, it has to be. What other move would it be? Okay. It's fine. Executor comes in. They brought revives. <laughs> okay, we miss. It's fine. Hyper voice kills here. Nice. Good. And air slash. But we lost another Pokemon. This should have one hit KO when it switches in. All of you are gonna need gambling hotlines pretty soon. <laughs> if this is any indication. All right, that was a dumb way to lose my Zangoose. You need to show me your tenacious Psychic-type Pokémon. Have a taste of my super Pokémon hard-battling power. These old coots. Show me a boost. Boost me. Okay. Shadow Ball comes out. Give me a boost. It would ensure the kill, because we could miss. What? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we missed. It gave itself true and again, yeah. It got true and back. Let's go. <laughs> I don't think I'm good enough to win the run anymore without a ghost type. I don't know how I'm gonna beat Tate and Liza without a ghost type. None of this would be happening, none of this would be happening if that sliver of HP on slacking wasn't there. It just had to live that superpower. This is so unlike the Norman skill swap, which is what's killing me. The Norman, both times I've done Norman, his Espeon keeps skill swapping, but it skill swaps my Pokemon. It gives me Truant. Oh, I just totally forgot that this would kill itself. I didn't consider the recoil damage, but that's fine. 
Solo comes in here. Would have been nice to attack into that, but. you wit you're too nice atari and thank you you guys are the real mvps there's a crit they toxic each other yeah it's just weird because oh no they're they were both guts yeah that makes sense I was like, how would it know like Hitmonchan was gonna be next to it? But no matter who it was, it would have been fine. It's fine, I used Lumberry here actually, which is nice. We have another emote slot, which is great, because I was thinking about making a emote for the next one that takes up two slots. Can we get it to the Psychic? We are minus special attack. We do get the kill there. The range on Steven's Aerodactyl is worse. Gotcha. And Missy wouldn't have died if it was normal ghost. True. It also wouldn't have been targeted with Shadow Ball. <laughs> cool trainer Hannah. Okay. I am the water type trainer now. You know what type of trainer I'm not? I am not a ghost type trainer, <laughs> clearly. Oh, I already see a problem. With my plan. go. That was supposed to kill. What did I do wrong? It crunched. Well, that raises more questions. Oh, I'm double intimidated. No, I didn't calculate the second intimidate. I'm dumb. I got thick fat too, which is nice. And it, why did it thunder punch me? It already knew that I had that. Question mark? Get the kill. Call mind, okay, that makes sense. Let's go! We're getting all the calls on this one. Okay, and now Crunch plus Thunderbolt should pick this up. All right, that one went smooth. This one should be a piece of cake. Scissor through there, block Dezuka on whatever comes in.
I did more than I was expecting, honestly. There's no way Gengar Brick Break KOs me from this range, right? I mean, crit probably does, but... Got a good roll there. Imprison, that is so fine. Brings in the exploding Snorlax. Brick Break comes out. We can't be crit because we are battle armor. Now for the rest of the battle, we just need to play smart. Two chances to flinch here. Yep. In prison. <laughs> here question mark oh I think this is the room so 41% of the time we will get a snow runt or a glalie here the next most likely Pokemon is Jinx followed by Swinub and Pillow Swine it is the snow runt so we got that part right Pepe coming in hot, or should I say cold, with the Snow Patrol nickname. Let me go over the team one more time. So Tate and Liza have three legendary Pokemon. I am bringing these chumps. Scizor is here primarily to KO Gardevoir and to bait moves. Has the Citrus Berry. Van Halen the cast form is here mostly for the speed control. Put that in that slot. And Shadow Ball is pretty strong against her Pokemon. Lantern, we just taught Icy Wind. Also here for speed control. We just need to be faster than these Pokemon. Salamence is here to KO Metacham and to finish off Jirachi, I think. Kabutops is here as part of our pivoting strategy. We have Rock Tomb on it in case that also has a turn for speed control and Earth Power might be used against the Jirachi too. And then we have Black Glasses Sharpedo with Crunch. We came up with a whole strategy of exploding Glalie and exploding Electrode that was going to kill four of their Pokemon, but then couldn't think of a way to finish off the Starmie. So we're back to the old drawing board and this is what I came up with last night. So I'm gonna go with my gut here and use the strategy I was gonna use if we didn't get Glalie. If the run ends here, I'm gonna be very salty, but this is our, what I think gives me the best chance to get my seventh badge for the first time. Oh, I should also mention that I really want to come out of this with Cast Form and Salamence. If I can save a third one, I want it to be Lantern. If I can save a fourth one, I want it to be Scizor. Hehehe, <laughs> were you surprised? Foo, <laughs> were you surprised? No, I've been thinking about it for the last, like, 48 hours. <laughs> All right, widely considered the hardest gym leaders in Emerald Kaizo. Some people, I think, would say Flannery. I guess I'll have to find out for myself. A 
Okay. So they both have Hidden Power Fire. They both always kill Scizor. This turn is very free. We just go into Kabutops. And we use Icy Wind so that we outspeed these Pokemon next turn. I could have used Slowbro for this roll, but I was too afraid that I would lose Slowbro. Something I'm going to consider every turn when I take a kill is... Do I want the next Pokémon coming in to be slower? And usually that answer I think will be yes. Okay, so now Latios sees the kill with Thunderbolt here, and Latios is random move, random target. My guess is the Latias is gonna Mist Ball, and I want the Mist Ball to go into Kabutops. What I don't want is the stat drop that comes with Mist Ball. We want to see it target the Lantern here. Okay, we don't want to see a stat drop. Okay. The incoming Pokemon can be Gardevoir or Metacham. I'm going to go for Icy Wind and Shadow Ball. Please don't kill. Oh my. Well, now we have a lot of randomness. So I go for Ice Beam and Deladius here. Where I switch with this, I don't know. If I go Sharpedo, I'm only dead to Brick Break. And if I go... And if they use... So there's a 1 in 4 for Brick Break. There's a 1 in 4 for um, Dragon Claw. So it needs to use that combination of moves for Sharpedo to die here. Show me, show me Mist Ball, show me Shadow Ball, show me Fake Out, show me Bad Moves. Fake Out. Okay, we just need not Dragon Claw here. <sighs> That's so annoying. One and four there. Tell me that's minimum 30. Please be minimum 30. We are getting so unlucky! That was 30 to 35 percent. We are in so much trouble against the Jirachi now.
please miss Hydro Pump. I think this is Hydro Pump. It could be Psychic. Okay, that's interesting. I have to kill one of these right now. I won't have Pokemon to switch to. I bring in Scizor and bait Fire Punch, I guess. I kind of need to get Lantern off the field. How do I come out of this battle with Salamence and Cast Form alive, is what I need to think about. Wait a minute, and maybe I'm thinking about this the wrong way. I've been thinking like I need to bring in Scizor to bait into Salamence. What if I bring in Salamence to bait into Scizor? Can Scizor live that attack? I need to slow down the Jirachi first with Icy Wind. And I need to not get crit here. So put me in Swarm. Oh. That was really random. <laughs> soul for a soul. All right, this is Fire Punch. Goodbye, Scizor. And now I just need to choose the one that does the most damage of these two. My flamethrower here. This doesn't have flamethrower? Oh no, I thought it did. I just choked so hard. I don't think Salamence is dead to anything here though. As long as I don't get crit. Don't crit me. Confuse me. <laughs> Got that extra chip. Never punish. <sighs> okay. We won. Seven badges. What did it cost us? Mostly just Scizor, honestly. And we saved a lot of other stuff. Using the explosion strategy, we would have lost more Pokemon. And we would have saved one heart scale. Oh, we kept the most important Pokemon, though. Yeah, this was a good scenario overall. Like I said, there was like four scenarios I saw. Oh yeah, well, losing the run was a scenario too. <laughs> um, 
Like, the best case scenario for this one, I think, was we lost Kabutops and we lost Sharpedo and that was it. This was like the middle scenario where we lost a uh, Scizor and then bad, ki bad scenario was we lost Lantern 2. And then worst scenario, obviously, was that we lost more than that or we didn't win it at all. Scizor. Scissor Sister? Good job by you. Kabutops? You barely knew ye? But you did you did what you had to do, which was absorb hits and go down when it when you had to go down. Sharpedo, you got so robbed. That was such bad luck for its uh, Dragon Claw there. But whatever. Thanks for doing what you did by not being a, a more important Pokemon. <laughs> Gotta fix the death command. Our level cap is 77 now. 